someone explain to me what it is about trains and the people on the other side at night who have their brights on I can't tell you how many times I come to a train just like this and the person that's in the lead on the other side the opposite side has their brights on so every single time uh, there's a, a clearing just like that you can see the damn brights that are on and it's like a bright flashing light apparently they don't realize it I don't know what it is fucking asshole I can see his brights are on I can see both bulbs on it's like people need their brights to see the train or something I, you know and because it's a train it's blocking the light I guess they think really don't get it on my to-do list is definitely this seatbelt sensor problem man I'm getting tired of it flashing the seatbelt indicator as if I don't have it on when I actually do you can hear I've got it on you can see that I've got it on it's just uh, the roads are crap so it's where I could pull out with all these cars coming on a dry road I just can't on this road plus nobody uses their turn signal that guy just pulled into uh, McDonald's and I could have gone you can see all this room here but I didn't realize he was turning he just started slowing down and sure enough there he's turning no indication whatsoever that he was gonna be going into McDonald's there's another one what with as bad as the roads are you think that people would actually have some courtesy for those around and you know what screw this I'm getting tired of this crap nobody uses their turns anyway and this, what, this actually the, the seatbelt problem actually happened probably about uh, oh, I don't know eight nine months ago and I immediately went to the LS4 forums um, and was asking about it the only thing that I was worried about is that my airbag wasn't going to deploy because some cars that is the case where if you don't have your seatbelt on um, especially on the passenger side then the airbag isn't going to deploy so I was kind of concerned about that and wow this car up here must have all-wheel drive she's hauling I feel like I'm gonna drift right off the road anyway um, my concern was that the airbag wouldn't deploy, but I was rest assured that that's not the case. That even with the seatbelt off, the airbag will still deploy. Um, now, I, I haven't actually looked at the, uh, uh, the service manual yet, but I believe that it, all it is is that, uh, that push sensor that slides down it essentially slides up and down and then when you have the seatbelt in it pushes down that actuator to make a connection to indicate that your seatbelt is actually on the only purpose it serves on this car is to annoy you that your seatbelt is actually not on and there you probably can't see this I don't think I can flip the camera around but there's an asshole in a four-wheel drive truck right behind me he is tailing my ass and I'm not joking it's another one of those asshole guys who think that four-wheel drive means invincibility in this stuff yes you can go from a takeoff faster you can turn a little better with better traction but you can't use your brakes any better that's four-wheel drive doesn't work in reverse and I've complained about that in several videos and there's just that idea in people who have all-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, that it means that they get as much traction as if there was no snow on the ground. <clears throat> so if I was put into a situation where I'm going to have to put on my brakes, as heavy as his truck is, and I can see that the, the ass end of his truck is loaded, it looks like a work truck of some kind, I can see there's no way, no way in hell that he'll be able to stop that big 5,000 pound, 6,000 pound truck before I'd be able to stop mine. There's just no way. But anyway, so I'm going to be looking at that actuator 
in the next couple of days to find out exactly what is going on because it's uh, all right get over I'm having trouble getting around in this crap. The packing snow is everywhere. Of course, he's not. That's the thing. He can just plow right through this four wheel drive. No big deal. Got a lot of weight in the rear end to help out. But stopping? Not a chance. There's no way that he'd be able to stop that big truck before I'd be able to stop. No way. I'd like to see that asshole in the truck on dry land, see if he can outrun my car. Even though it's a later model GMC. Oh, he's sliding all over the place too. Look at it. Oh, you can't see it. I think it's hilarious. He's fishtailing back and forth right now, trying to get traction. It's a funny thing about that uh, all-wheel drive, that auto all-wheel drive. It takes it a, about a second to catch up, engage the front end. I actually had it in my uh, my Yukon. I had that Auto Track four wheel drive, and the the ass end when I got up on it, the ass end would definitely do a little bit of a fishtail, and then when the front wheels locked in, I you know take right off, no big deal. Um, it wasn't um, that automatic all wheel drive stuff. It was just it was Auto Track four wheel drive, what they call it. So I didn't have the manual floor shifter to engage the four-wheel drive, it was that um, that push button. Push button four-wheel, automatic is what it was. I could set it in two-wheel, four-wheel low, four-wheel high, or automatic. I usually just kept it automatic there. I didn't really find a point in having it in four-wheel. Uh, there was a couple instances where I did have it in four-wheel high, just to make sure that it, all the four wheels were locked. But. I'm actually gonna you guys will be able to see this all right now watch I'm barely able to take off look at this guy you probably can't even see it I mean I'm doing the best I can to take off of course he's following me pretty good everything that I can do to stay on the road safely and it ain't good enough for some people like that I mean, look at this. He is right on me. Right on me. <clears throat> and there he goes. Right there. What an asshole. It, now I've unlocked my... Whoa. Yeah. Interesting. Look at that. You probably can't see all that too well. Look at all that snow that's being kicked up. Wow, so that really slushy, snowy, packy stuff that great for making snowmen, but not so great for uh, the actual road because it packs in really good. <clears throat> Makes things slippery at the same time, difficult to drive through. It's not slushy, it's packy. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't think I'll be able to. <laughs> Probably gonna have to hold the camera all the way home because I can't bend back to reach the camera. I don't want to do it and distract me from the road when you got corners like this. I'm actually probably doing too fast for this. Oh, this stuff is an absolute nightmare. I mean, I'm shaking the camera too much so you probably can't see all that snow that I'm just kicking up everywhere. It's the nice thing about having a, a mount. The, uh, ah, ran that right over, damn it. 
So here's another guy. He was way back there. I'm sure you can see it. He was way back there. I saw him turn. He's catching up on me real fast. Probably going to catch me before I get my turn. He's coming up on me pretty good. I just, uh, I just don't understand why... And, and, you know, if he caused an accident or whatever, be like, oh, well, do the snow. Uh, there, I must have hit a slick spot. No. You were just driving too fast for conditions. Just the way that it is. So, anyway. I'll go ahead and stop the camera here and uh, enjoy the final quarter mile home. So, take care, guys.